20 seconds in Thailand, Thailand Rob. First hour, here we go. Heading to the airport in Tampa to go back to Thailand. This can only get better. <laughs> oh, that's a good. What are we doing? Wait, what's your, what's your, oh, you don't have. Okay. All right. Taco's going down the slide. The dog's name is actually Taco. It is Taco. So oh. good. Yeah, yeah. Great view of Gabby's butt. Yeah, look at that. Let's go, Taco. Oh my god. Oh my god. I just had a bath. Do, do you have enough beer? That was a great video. Okay. <laughs> now these are bugles. These are the these are the real bugles. Bugles! All right, the disappointment. They taste nothing like bugles. Honestly, I forgot. I don't. I don't like bugles. Look how expensive the kettles are over here. Twenty. That's like thirty bucks. In Thailand, it's 300 baht, the same thing. So, get it in Thailand. It's my last day. I ended up going to Walmart to buy some stuff to take back over, and I spent two hours in Walmart because I missed the place, and you could buy everything for like three dollars. But I did text Shannon, and Shannon said, "Yes, we can go have a beer." So everybody, I brought Shannon back into it because you guys thought she was so cute. Hey, Shannon. Hey. So I met you. I met. I met you in 2006. Sure. So, t 10 years. That's when I moved down here. God, that's crazy. So I've known Shannon for 10 years. When I met her, she worked at the Outback Steakhouse and she was a beautiful bartender. And like a lost puppy dog, she's been hounded by me ever since. I'm like a, a fat STD. You can't get rid of me. <laughs> we'll use that. <laughs> so anyway, she was, <laughs> she was, when, when, when times got bad or whatever, for me or her, we would always like hang out and tell each other our little sob stories. And then, no kidding, then this one shows up. <laughs> Pammy doesn't want to be on camera. She's had a long day and she has to bake a what, cake? Cake. What kind of cake? Pizza cake. She has to make a pizza cake. I don't even know what the heck a pizza cake is, but. Like a fruit cake. How do you make a pizza cake? It's like sugar. It's like a big sugar cookie with like cream cheese, powdered sugar. That would be like the marinara. And then the toppings is like fruit. Is Strawberry, it's... kiwi, blueberry. Oh. Is it is sweet? Yeah. Like a cake? Or like, yeah, a, or like a big cookie. Like a big cookie. We're going to cut it short here probably a little bit. Wah, wah, wah. Oh yeah, and by the way, before I wrap this up, before you guys start telling me, oh Rob, you should really hook up with Shannon which is what they're going to do. Yeah, you don't think I thought about that like 10 years ago? Really? Really? Oh yeah, I just, oh, thanks for telling me to hook up with Shannon. Shannon, yeah, 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 okay. Stop. <laughs> anyway, you know what they say. If you start dating someone, it ruins the friendship. That's why, that's why I'm not dating her. I, don't, I just want to stay friends. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this is actually better because this time, I checked the bags and the bags are going to go all the way through to Thailand. Last time I had to do some collecting when I got to a certain airport. So this is a big convenience for me, as long as they get there. First flight of the trip and we're 35 minutes behind schedule. I think I'll still be okay for Boston. Fingers crossed. Just landed in Boston. It is chaotic because we're switching from JetBlue now to over to Emirates and so everybody has to get their passport re-verified. You can see it's a bit much. This is eight hours in from the time that I left the house. This is the long flight. This is the 12 and a half hour doozy ride I got to go on. Chicken or fish? Welcome to Dubai. After a short 12 hour trip. So now in Dubai, and even though we just landed and I got done with the long trip part of it, 
This has been kind of a <laughs> kind of a weird trip. It was a really, really packed plane. We got here, it's overcast and kind of gloomy looking. So I just need to hang out here for a couple hours and then we go to Phuket where it'll be, I think, 7 or 7.30 in the morning. The one cool thing about this trip was I actually got to meet Stephanie. <laughs> Stephanie was in Boston and I noticed she looked a little bit out of place as well. So when we got here to Dubai, I asked her what she was doing. She said she's going to Phuket, but why are you going to Phuket? For Muay Thai training. <laughs> and you've done Muay Thai before? Yes. Where? In um, Puerto Rico. In Puerto Rico. Yeah. How old are you? I'm turning 32. She doesn't look 30. <laughs> so Muay Thai makes you look young. <laughs> right now we're going to go grab a beer and we have to wait. We have to kill like three hours. Yeah, well, we'll have to so. do what it's done, yeah. So anyway, see ya. Boarding the last flight and going into zombie mode. So I just got back to Camelot, literally just got back into my apartment. The first thing I immediately noticed when we pulled into where I live was my motorbike was missing. Which I didn't go into a full stream panic mode because I kind of figured maybe someone might have just moved it out of the way, hopefully. I go in to get my tie phone and of course it doesn't work because I have to top it off every month. I gotta get a different plan for my Typhoon. My Typhoon's a monthly plan. Motorbike was missing, I got on my American phone and called my landlord. And my landlord laughed and she said, no, I put it under the house uh, beside us. So, cause it was raining so much, they didn't want it to get rained on. The second thing that struck me was any clothing that I had in my apartment while I was gone for three weeks here, it was so humid mildew started setting in on everything so now I'm walking down here to the laundry because my clothes some of them might even be ruined Ugh. when I got in the apartment I noticed that there was these little round circles on my welcome mat by the bathroom we'll see if the laundry can fix that or not I don't know I've I don't know about mold and mildew as far as clothing goes I don't know if that's fixable or not that would be a bummer if I have to throw away clothes now I'm gonna go find the motorbike and it's only um, it's only like 10 o'clock in the morning here the only other thing was when we got here just the way I left it it's rainy it's gray uh, and it had been so sunny in Florida I was just really hoping it was gonna be sunny here when I got back but I'm sure it will be tomorrow we can all hope Oh, and my back door. My back door is made of wood. The thing is completely seized up. It won't even open at all. It's so swollen from the moisture here. I just found this place. I just got back into Camilla today. And look, actually the sun is actually starting to come out. So I'm very, very happy. But uh, subscriber Gary, he was, he was saying, he's like, hey, I'm in Camilla. He goes, did you get back yet? I said, yeah. He goes, well, I'm getting ready to have lunch at this place and I said well I've never seen that place so I'll check it out it looks pretty nice so anyway eh. and then I'm probably gonna go home and pass out for 27 hours yeah so I'm hanging out with Gary cheers and common pot I can't remember exactly where'd you say that she lives in Changpon Renong halfway in between and you're going up there for like a month a month twice how cool is that I just got back so he said I could come if I wanted to but I'm like no. Can you take this asshole back to America, please? Goody goody, don't forget that. Goody goody. La if life is good, it's good. If life is better and good, it's goody goody. <laughs> Does he look happy? No. <laughs> He's so sick. I like I shoulder checked the things. I didn't want him to get whipped. So I kept the water out of his ears. 
That's epic. Dude. That was fun.